The central government plans major insurance reforms, including 100% foreign investment and easier agent rules. To talk more on this, I have Giri Prakash with me. Uh, Giri, thank you for joining. So my first question to you is, how will allowing 100% foreign direct investment in the insurance sector benefit the common man in India? So there are um, uh, quite a few things. Uh, there are good things and as well as bad things. Good things is that uh, very obvious reasons there will be international practices that will come into play. Uh, and uh, so therefore, uh, uh, you, you, the service quality will actually improve. Right. Uh, and that's that's something that is pretty lacking in India when it comes to insurance. It could be health, it could be accident, it could be life insurance, any of these things. Uh, at, at the same time, um, competition will increase. So uh, two things could happen. One is that it could bring down the, uh, the insurance premium to a large extent. And uh, while, uh, while it is fine for uh, foreign uh, multinationals, because they can absorb that kind of cost because of the fact that they are uh, uh, you know, in terms of venue, they are much higher. Uh, as far well as um, for the Indian players, it's going to be difficult to compete with them. So with larger global players entering the market, do you think this will lead to more competitive pricing or better services for ordinary consumers? So the, the, the insurance policies will become more affordable. That, that, that's what will really happen. And uh, that, that, that is given. And um, <clears throat> today, uh, it is not as affordable as, as it should be. Uh, at a lower level, it is, but for a, for a higher level, and for those who are slightly older, it becomes very difficult for people to actually get those kind of uh, insurance policies. At the same time, uh, they could be very in, uh, you know, innovative products that 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 will get uh, that will be brought to the platform, and and, and that will really help the. Uh, citizens here <clears throat> and uh, and another thing is that uh, uh, the agents the insurance agents uh, will benefit a lot uh, they will be able to provide uh, customized solutions for uh, their clients which is quite missing now it's all very templated as of now Okay, so, uh, you know, we've uh, covered how it will be easier for agents to give, uh, uh, you know, customized plans for each uh, individual. So let's talk about LIC. Uh, do you think the foreign player can actually post a threat to LIC? It's a very big player. Uh, I mean, it, I think it's, its share must be around uh, 75 to 80 percent, if I'm not wrong uh and uh, and then it's ingrained in the psyche of all indians they they feel much more uh, uh, confident uh, of uh, doing business with uh, lic but uh, let me also tell you that uh, most of the insurance products of lic are endowment plans um, so it's always tied with uh, uh, insurance but um, we are not even uh, you know when it comes to investments um, but uh, but whether uh, whether it will affect uh, LIC, I, I don't think so at all. Uh, but yes, there will always be a situation where uh, you know multinational companies can come up with innovative products, and uh, if the uh, regulator IRDA allows them, they can actually customize those plans, and uh, they may not provide a stiff competition to LIC, but they will always be around. Uh, when it when it comes to making choices for clients, the government has set a goal of insurance for all by 2047. So, do you think these reforms will encourage people to have never who have never considered insurance to take it more seriously? And if so, how? While those targets are good, uh, while it's important that everybody should get covered, uh, nine times out of ten, insurance products are missold. Okay, they are sold to unsuspecting clients. And uh, if the goal is that everybody should get covered under by uh, 2047, um, 100 years of independence, uh, one, one needs to understand that the government should see that it's more regulated and it's not missold to people in rural areas. Uh, and that this is very important because they are very naive, innocent, uh, and uh, the agents could, could actually end up becoming culprits there.
Thank you for your inputs, Giri. Viewers, for more such analysis, stay with the Federal.